Today is my girlfriend's birthday, and she has no idea what I'm about to give her. Let's start at the beginning. Let's start where the grandpa vet had a minor issue at Pocono after I raced it for the first time ever. And uh, I actually called up. Wow, look at that. Neat. Called up my buddy Fran from RPM. Yes, Fran, a lot of people think because I didn't send my car to RPM that, you know, we have some type of issue. Actually, Fran and I talk all the time. Uh, so I called him up and I said, hey, man, when you have a chance, do you think I could bring my car uh, for you to look at it? Look it over. It's just having a minor issue. He said, sure, no problem. What is up, buddy? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Get the shirt on and off. Dude, I literally wore the shirt just for you today. I was like, I gotta, I gotta rock the shirt. I gotta rock Dude. it. He had said before, you know, if you ever want to sell the Grandpa Vet, I'm definitely, definitely interested. You know, please let me be the first one to make an offer on it because I really want it. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I just got the car. I want to keep it for a while yet. I want to do some stuff with it, so I'm not ready to sell. But I will definitely keep you in mind if that time comes, you know, like a year from now or whatever. He actually texted me and said that he was going to be in the area uh, a couple days from when we were talking. And he said he could stop by and look at it. So that's what he did. You got here real quick. Yeah, a little under two hours. It wasn't bad. Yeah, no. We had traffic like on 202, like up by us. Oh, yeah. Then, always. Like, the turnpike, we were The rolling. turnpike's always great. I always, when I came to your shop, like, the turnpike was always great, and then I'd get to whatever exits, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. road's by you, and then they're just terrible. It needs a bath. It does need a bath, honestly. <laughs> I need to wax it. I need to get out my jorts and wax it here. Did they just use the manifolds and, like, the intercooler from the Huron Speed Kit and then make the rest? Yeah, pretty much. And then they used the precision turbos. Yep. He'd been telling me the whole time when he wanted to buy the car, he said, you know, I really want to get it for... For KP, his girlfriend. We're both pretty big into racing. She always supports me with all of the racing and everything that I do. Um, and I kind of want to get her more into the drag racing stuff like I do instead of just stuff on the street. You know, I we, we have a ZR1. It's pretty fast. She's been 980 to 152 and it just boost only. Manual six speed car. Um, but I want to get her more into like competitive style racing like I got, like I do. And, uh, you know, she's big into racing and not like, oh, you know, I'll just drive down the track, you know, for fun, whatever. Like she is into racing. She wants to race. She wants to go fast and be competitive. Like she actually wants to really drag race. And he said, you know, that would be a perfect car for her. And I said, well, yeah, sure. I mean, when I'm ready to sell, I'll definitely, you will be number one on the list. And he came up here and he was looking over the car. You get some little turbo guards. Uh... Definitely. Steve of all people. <laughs> Steve of all people. He's got like his gas lines laying on the header. Yeah, Steve has literally. Like, That's fine. Steve was driving a vehicle with an open container of gasoline <laughs> in it and a live wire I going know. to it. I saw the as the, a fuel pump. I don't know if it was on your video or his video. Your video, the inside of the that truck, whatever thing that he's got, like. The headers are just yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're inside yeah. the car. Yeah, the headers go into the, the into the driver's area and just that's He's like, the exhaust. He's like, about 40 minutes. I'm like, you mean four? Yeah, lucky, I, I was going to say, honestly, like you're lucky he doesn't lose consciousness when he's driving the thing. It's Steve, though. I mean... Steve just somehow is invincible. Like, the fact that he isn't dead yet is unbelievable. Before we put the video up of him jumping the Honda... <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, at least not be dumb. Uh, did you wear a helmet? And he's like, yeah. He didn't wear a helmet. <laughs> two, two of them are like this. I can feel the bottom of it. It's just this exact Yeah, hard. Way. Yeah, it's all cracked. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's just from getting too hot. Yeah. Yep. Obviously, you have to put like a boot or ceramic boot or yeah, something we'll have to get on that. And, Yeah. Yep. Just like I did on Salim's car. I was doing the same thing. Sounds so good. We got to talking while he's looking over the car and you know he said wow it's you know looks pretty cool great build and we all know the car performs it went 8-2 at 170 and you know we were just talking i got to thinking well do you think she'd really want a car like this you know as an anniversary present would she really want a car i mean i'm sure she wants one uh but do you think she would want something like this and he said oh yeah definitely like this is exactly what she has been asking me for for months for years and as we talked some more i said well do you think she'd really want this car you know a power glide twin turbo car you know you can't really drive it on the street it's pretty much a drag only car it's very much a one trick uh, pony and it's it, I mean it's insane and it's really fast after all she's just kind of getting into the sport more on a competitive level and he said absolutely it's exactly what she wants and uh, she would definitely use it and learn with it and, and grow with the car birthday's next Friday so I might I think I'm gonna give it to her on her birthday when would you want to get the car for and he said it's in two weeks I got um, a trans brake 
Well, it has a trans brake That's button insane. in there. Yeah, it does look. But I got a different color one so that she could have two different color buttons so she wouldn't get them confused. I'm gonna walk outside, and then when I come in, I'll just like knock on the door or something. Okay. And I'll have her like close her eyes or something, and then you guys open the door. Okay. That was kind of the tipping point for me where I felt like this car could go to somebody who really, really wants it. And not that I don't want it and like it, but somebody who really would love it, appreciate it, and somebody who can use it to its actual potential. Look, it's got some stuff you'll see. <laughs> I don't know, just look. What do you think is done to it? It's, well, it's, it's got a trans brake. Why? You see the shifter? It's got two gears, so it's a power bike? It is. Okay. This is a key, babe. Why is this safe to drive? So it doesn't have a cage, so it's not that fast. Now this was by no means an easy video to make um, because I know the hate is going to be coming my way, but that's okay. Um, I'll sleep just, just fine at night. Um, but I know some people are gonna be upset. And the one thing you can say about me though is you can say a lot of things about me, but I've never tried to pretend to be anything I'm not. I've always been upfront and honest about what I like. You now I'll buy a car, I'll sell a car. Sometimes I'll make old truck content. Sometimes I make a random video talking about car news. Sometimes it's Corvette stuff or a McLaren video or Lamborghini, whatever. I just make whatever videos I wanna make. And I've always been very true to myself, you know, despite the fact that being all over the place and getting different cars, I know that's not great for views. People don't like change. They want the same thing. They wanna come to a channel and get the same content that they're used to. But that's not fun for me. And with drag racing, I've said it many times, you know, I am not, a drag racer and i came to this conclusion pretty early on in the grandpa vet build you know it was, it was fun at the beginning i did some stuff here at home but very quickly i learned the cletus mcfarland channel for example you know look at the amount of work that goes into those two cars uh, ruby and leroy to keep them running and they break all the time and that's not because they're bad they're amazing but that's just the nature of the beast at that level to have a car that performs like that it's gonna break it's gonna need constant work constant tuning and I don't have, I mean, I'm one guy with a piece of crap trailer. I don't have a team with me. I don't know about putting cars together. And quite frankly, I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> it's, it's a twin turbo car. <laughs> it's mine. And not once, not one time since I've had that car back have I thought to myself, you know what? I want to load the car up on the trailer hook it up to the truck, drive two hours, pay to get in, drag race one time, wait in line, somebody breaks, up, oh, there's oil on the track, up, oh, nine o'clock, I gotta go home. And if you think I'm being dramatic, I have made many videos in the past where exactly that scenario has happened to me. So it's not my thing. And I realized that early on, but I, I promised you guys that I would finish the Grandpa Vet build. I promised, and I was not gonna let you down. I wanted to see it through, even though it was far more work than I thought, it was way more money, but I wanted to get it done. Seeing it finally get done, I was proud, and I'm glad that I saw it through. So it's not like Louis. Can I beat Louis? <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> been 820 to 170. <laughs> we'll slowly get you there, though. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. How did you do this? It's Without me knowing. Why did you do this? <laughs> me and Matt went up last week when I told Where? you we were going. Yeah, treat that smells so good, but it's terrible on my hands. <laughs> um keep going. But after seeing her reaction, there is no doubt in my mind that I made the right decision. My girlfriend and I, we were watching that video and we almost teared up because 
she was clearly so happy to have that car. And, you know, I liked it. I mean, of course, like I had fun with it, but that, I'm, I don't love drag racing on that level. I wasn't in love with that car on that level. And to see it go to somebody who really is going to use it, love it, I mean, she deserved it. And Fran's a great guy. I know that, you know, you need, for that, for that car to compete and to run at that level, you need a team and RPM is that team. It gets on the two step, hit that. Remember you said you just wanted to go racing for your birthday? <laughs> and they're gonna do great things with it. The cool thing is you can see it on their channel, but yes, I decided after many things and uh, with a lot of thought that I would sell the Grandpa Vet to Fran for KP and it turned out great. And I highly encourage you to watch the full video. I put in some snippets here and there, but it's only like a couple minutes. Uh, you're gonna wanna see the whole vlog the whole thing her entire reaction it's great um you know i'm really happy for both of them and the fact that it gets to go to a great home you know you know what it is it's like i'll sum up the whole thing like this it's like you got a pet bald eagle right and you love that bald eagle and he's a magnificent bird but you live in a little apartment in new york city and you know he can barely even stretch his wings much less fly around and then a guy with a beautiful 50 acre bald eagle farm sanctuary comes along and says, you know, I've been looking for a bird just like that. And I'd love to add him to my flock to breed and do great things. And you know, you gotta let that bald eagle fly. He's gonna have a better life without you. And I let that bald eagle fly. And I guess that's it. Until next time. And also, you know, I've seen all the comments on Instagram and everything else. Like, you know, why didn't you tell us and all this stuff? Well, of course I couldn't say anything because I didn't want to ruin the surprise or risk it in any way. You know, if she found out that Fran had the car or whatever. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to ruin that. I hope you guys understand my decision. I hope you're happy about it. I know some people won't be. I mean, even after watching that reaction, some people are still going to be upset, um, which again is okay. And if you got to unsub, that's okay too. But uh, I'll have plenty of great car content coming down the pipeline. And the Grandpa Vet is at a great home now. And you can check out the RPM channel. Like I said, I highly encourage you to watch the full video on her reaction. And uh, you can see the car there. I am sad. You know, like I said, I, I had no intention of selling this car. Uh, a lot of people said that like, oh, you already sold it when it was down there at Texas and it was never coming back. No, the truth is, is that I promised I would get it done and I did get it done and I was gonna keep it for a while. And it is sad to look at the trailer, but again, sometimes you gotta move on to bigger and better things for you. You have to do in life what's right and what's best for you. And I think I made the right call for me and seeing her reaction, I definitely made the right call overall. I, I have no regrets whatsoever. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.